Thank you. Uh, and uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Chair and colleagues. Thank you for the opportunity to present AB 2693 this morning, which is a bill to restore some of the most important watersheds that we have in the state of California. AB 2693 builds on a law that I authored in 2016 that recognized that watersheds are an essential part of our water infrastructure and a law that Assemblymember Wood passed in 2018 that called for an assessment and prioritization of the restoration needs in the watersheds that flow into Shasta, Trinity, and Oroville reservoirs. These largest reservoirs form the backbone of the state's water system, providing upwards of uh, water to upwards of 28 million people and most of the irrigated agriculture in the Central Valley. This proposal creates an interagency Shasta Trinity Oroville Watershed Restoration Administration that would be housed at the Water Board to coordinate restoration and conservation investments in this region. Led by a steering committee of the key organizations, the administration will establish an implementation plan to efficiently execute the restoration projects over the next 15 years. It would also make directed grants from the existing Headwaters Restoration Fund to implement the plan. The restoration of these watersheds will place them in the best condition possible to reduce fire impacts, improve water security, address climate change, and, assist and sustain their long-term health. The execution of this plan will also serve as an economic driver and create jobs in a part of the state with historically high unemployment. Now, some say that the state is already making investment in the region, so why do we need this new interagency effort? And it's a valid question, but it's a matter of having a plan and a system to actually achieve our goals at scale. During the COVID crisis, our attention is rightfully focused on direct responses to our most pressing needs. And in its wake, the pandemic has put many of our priorities and needs as a state on hold. But climate change, wildfire, water security and reliability, and the need for jobs will not wait. And we must continue to expeditiously prepare our state for and identify solutions to these ongoing concerns. AB 2693 is a strategic and efficient approach based on a data-driven assessment that will serve as an essential part of our state's ongoing response to these issues. Now, I'd like to address the concerns that have been raised by opposition, and I want to emphasize that I am committed to working with all stakeholders to ensure that the proposed administration is inclusive and representative of local interest, existing plans, and the work that is already being carried out in the region. AB 2693 is meant to be complementary to those efforts, and again, I'm committed to ensuring that that is the case. In fact, only yesterday, uh, I had productive conversations with Izzy Martin of the Sierra Fund and Jonathan Kusel of the Sierra Institute, whose organizations are conducting restoration work in these watersheds. And while they have concerns with the bill at this time, I think we are in agreement about the overarching goals that are proposed in AB 2693, and we've agreed to continue meeting beginning with next week. I look forward to working with them and other stakeholders as the bill moves forward to address their concerns and make the Watershed Restoration Administration an efficient means of facilitating the essential work that must be completed on our state's most important watersheds. I'm pleased to have with me Lori Weyburn, the president of the Pacific Forest Trust, to testify as my witness.